So the idea that I'm working with here is as though you were walking down the street and you notice a tree or a person and there's this um, sort of I see you thing that happens. My proposal is to, as, as we're going through regions of the body, of your body, of my body, noticing um, different areas and regions and sensations, and trying something like saying hello or offering this I see you quality. Working with your eyes open or shut, whichever way turns up the volume on the sensations. And today I'm going to start with my chest area and maybe just stay there. We'll see. Noticing. like the feeling of a fist clenching, a little bit of a tightening in that way in the front middle part of my chest. And so mm, opening the floor to you and inviting different doorways to look into. Just starting with, let's say, the, the skin on your chest area. Thinking of chest area as, in loose terms, not hard lines around it. it a three-dimensional barrel, so there's a front chest and side chests and back chests going all the way around. And it has a density center and a periphery. And so working your way around, maybe starting in the front, noticing the skin on your chest barrel. Noticing qualities like, can you feel um, wind? Does your skin feel hot or cold or itchy or moist? Whatever you notice, just offering this I see you, hello, kind of quality. Traveling to the side skin and the back skin. Different sensations might blur in, like I noticed my back muscles when I was trying to check out my skin, and that's fine. Just supporting the practice by trying to focus a little bit of like, okay, wait, let me let me see. I hear my other sensations going. What happens when I turn up the volume of my back skin? Can I hear anything? Maybe, maybe not. And I sometimes hear nothing, and sometimes hear something that I don't understand what it is. All of those are great. Again, whatever is felt or not felt, just saying like, hey Asian. And then moving to my side skin on the other kind of side. And then really playing around here, really being loose, using um, physiology, anatomy models can be helpful, as can any sort of body mapping. So when I talk about a region, I'm not talking in strict terms, I'm talking in 
can't really. Literal, non-metaphoric, geographic terms, like the front as compared to the back, but I'm not trying to ask you to feel the difference between fascia and skin. I'm just inviting you to feel in a particular area. So playing for a second with this inside middle center of the chest barrel, maybe that means heart to you, maybe it means lungs, whatever it means, using the breath as a tool, as a like something to play with, letting the air come in your face. And looking with your, your mind's eye, like shining this flashlight on the center area of your chest and simply noticing what is it like when that regular old breathing air comes in. What is the texture like? What regions are supple as compared to tense? Does there seem to be a sound or a color in this center area of your chest? Is it leaning to one direction or another? or weighted in some direction. And noticing the difference, whatever you can feel or not feel, the, the goal is to check and whatever you find, including nothing, is like all bonus. So that if you've checked, you've, you've done this right. Checking to see how does the center of your chest feel when you take air in. And then comparing it, just noticing differences or similarities to how it feels when the air goes out. Can you notice any um, like micro muscles working? Maybe they're not really muscles, maybe they are, but can you feel any like contracting and expanding function happening in that center chest area? Or noticing does your balance shift? Do you feel perfectly balanced or does it shift around as air comes in or air goes out? And adding another dimension here some practices the intention is to stay still and in this practice I would invite you to um, allow yourself to move or make noise continuing to feel and notice but that you're also allowed to like follow an impulse to put your hand to your chest or make a noise or change shape
And just taking note also, um, feeling into like, what is your, what is your heart beat right now? What is your heart rate? You can bring your hands to touch you or check your pulse in a traditional sort of way. Um, but also trying it without using your hands. Can you listen to your chest and get a sense of your heart rate? No need to be accurate. Again, the goal is just to check if you can feel. And so if we're talking about like, again, this three dimensional space of chest barrel area, noticing, um, you can do this with any sensation, but noticing with just this heart rate one, if I listen for my heartbeat, sometimes I hear it, sometimes not. And starting to say like, here's the map, like there's some physical terrain it's, it's literal terrain right here that I can feel the borders of. When I feel the sensation of my heartbeat, how much of that land does that sensation spread through? Do I feel it all the way on the edges of the, my chest area? Can I feel it into my head or does it stay real regional? And where is that region? Can you, can you sort of like point to it? And then just believe, before leaving, um, just this real, real short, easy going practice as the, as the offering. Um, kind of preparing yourself for like, okay, I'm going to leave this practice now. And you might, you don't have to offer like a thank you to, to your chest area and or the different sections in there. Whatever part was like speaking up extra loud. Or if you feel nothing, also just acknowledging chest and then you're here. And just do real quick, like, waving to the, the different parts of your body before kind of like leaving and coming back to everyday space. Like, hey, head space, hey, hey, face, hey, brain part of my head, my throat, my arms, elbows, hands, fingers, hey, chest, hey, Hey, belly barrel, back, sides, front, pelvic bowl, all that gluteus tissue, all that genital tissue, hey, and thighs, and knees, and calves, and ankles, and heels, and foot, and toes, hey, I see you. Whatever other kind of thing you want to offer them is welcome. Using your, modifying my words, finding words that work for you is really encouraged. And right before kind of coming out of it again, sort of, not again, but coming to this, noticing that this, this, this your body that you just said hey to is in air, uh, surrounded by air, touching ground. And just, hey, I'm saying hey to this air and hey to this ground. And the air I'm kind of pace, coming to open your eyes or in whatever way, come back to 
daily life-ish. Keeping some of this noticing quality. Woven into this daily life being. <laughs> 